Hello Internet, I'm Dan. And I'm Chaz, and this is uh, episode 31 of Wine is Serious Business. Thanks for watching. Uh, we got another guest tonight, and we're looking at some sparkling wine, so it should be an exciting show. Uh, this is my friend Michelle Reed, and uh, yeah, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, a little bit about myself. Um, champagne drinker for a long time, or I should say, sorry, sparkling wine drinker for uh, many years. Uh, I rarely, well I shouldn't say rarely, um, because I've been unemployed for the last 12 months, uh, I can only afford a certain you know, budget for my wine, so um, I like to call those cheap and cheerful. And um, here are some, some of those. Although one of the bottles I picked today I've never tried, so. Wow. There you go. Which one, which one is that? The pink. All right. Next to you. All right, so we're trying out some new, some new budget sparkling wines. Most of these are from Trader Joe's too, right? They're all from Trader Joe's. All right. Economically <laughs> viable. Yes. Sparkling wines. Yes. This one is called, I think it's called Albero. Yep. Uh, Spanish sparkling wine. It isn't a cava. It doesn't say cava on there, so All right. yeah. I don't know. What's it made with? You have no idea? Uh, I know it's organic. It's 100% organic. All right. Um, but that's all I know. So these are the coolest glasses, by the way. Look at that. Thank you. Yeah, I love yes. these. Dan and I were commenting on these earlier. Yes. Yeah. My friend uh, Will just rounded out my set because he broke one of mine on my last birthday. Oh, so. awesome. Bus yes. kill. Cheers. Yes, cheers. Okay. Yeah, all right. Um, so one thing I noticed right off the bat is this barely has any sparkling action, right? Yes, yeah, so it's pretty supposed light. to be kind of very faint with the bubbly. It's pretty light and on the nose, I think. Mm -hmm. A little bit of apple right. fruit, I think. But. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely a little apple fruit. He's chilled down a little bit. Yeah. Wow. Kind of a little on the sweeter side, but again, just pretty straightforward up, for, but clean. Very clean. And yeah, it finishes yeah. really nicely. Yeah. It's all just kind of like a, not even green apple, it's like yellow apple. Mm -hmm. Golden delicious. Golden delicious, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. And, and it's very cleanly, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say a little Barely bit. Barely any bubbles. A little there. bit of candy flavors on it, too. So so if, if you, yeah, if you like the sweeter, the sweeter sparkling without it being over the top, like Manischewitz, for example. Um, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> this might be right up your alley. Great drink. I mean, it, and it's not so sweet, like, it's not like, you know, Osti Spumante or something like right, that. Right, right. So, it's just nice. It's, it's nice, just got a little nice bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice fruit. Wow, this, and this, just drink it faster, it's better, I think, this, too. This chilled down in the summertime. There you go. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's also really nice with a little rhubarb bitters thrown in. That, I'm just I saying. Really wow. No, awesome. Um, yeah, so so my, I, it's a simple wine, but it's, it's very delicious. I go like 85 points on it. 87 for me. Right. You want to score it? I'm not a wine point person. So. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. But nice. And what's the price point on that? Oh, Jesus. Um, maybe six, seven bucks. Totally. Sub 10? Totally. Yeah. Rock solid. Yeah. All right. Actually, all of these are under $10 a bottle. There you go. So. Sparkling right. show for under 10 bucks a bottle. Don't let anybody tell you sparkling wine has to be expensive. It can be, and it can be amazing, but uh, doesn't have to. Be. We've already had one good one that's cheap. It's uh, rinsing with these is going to be a bit of a challenge, but uh, oh, I'm wow. sure we can figure it out. We'll I make had, it work, I'm sure. I had an apple and a pear, and that's all I've had to eat today, so I'm well, wasted. Well, wine should go that's, well that's with gonna, it. Yeah. That's going to go just lovely. By the time I make it down to the cellar. Oh well. Oh, life is there for, you go. Life yeah, is for I living. I pour that like a child. Um, is this wine white? Life, life is for living and so, wine is for drinking. That's right. <laughs> All right. These glasses sort themselves out pretty quick. It looks like they do. Yes. That's good. All right. Well, a little more. So this here. is a this is a German, a German sparkling. What's it made of? We I know? have no idea. All I I only can read that word that says sec. Yeah. Which means dry, right? No. I don't know my ger you know your German. Yeah, yeah, yeah I you're should. the German no, expert. Whoa. Don't ask me. I don't know. Man, it usually trocken's dry. I think. Oh, I want to say right. sect is, is sweet. As applied to sparkling wine, I see it applied to sparkling wine a lot. Um, I should. Know, and I'm not even going to attempt know. the name. Yeah. The producer on that, no idea. People in the comments, what does sect mean? Let us know. I'm sure we'll. Yeah, I'll probably look it up. But this is this is a chance to to. to yeah, show us up a little bit. Yeah, what's tell us we're mean? tell us we're stupid. Yeah, Super yeah. clear. Wow. Very. You yeah, don't know your German. Yeah, this is a very German. very light colored wine. But the bubbles are rolling right along. Yes. A little bit of sweetness, mm -hmm. a little bit of the yeast sort of yeasty components. Mm -hmm. right after yeah. That, yeah. Yes. It smells this really is nice. Probably, 
like, like I said, these three wines I've had before, this is yeah. something that's new to me. Okay. This is definitely the yeastier yeah. of the three. And um, I usually don't like a lot of yeast on mine. Okay. Probably like if you've ever, ever had Andre Clouet. Yes. That's really yeasty. It's like yeah. you know, eating a piece of bread. Sure. Yeah. And I don't really care for that sensation oh. in my bubbly, so. Huh. But this is this is uh, perfect for me. This is totally fine. More fruit-driven bubbles than... Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I do like a lot of kava. I drink a lot of kava okay. as well. Sweet. Yeah. White yeah. and pink. I do like my pink bubbly. <laughs> I, think nice I think everyone does. Everyone should. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow, the bubbles totally blow up on mm -hmm. this one. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Yes. Um, yes. Aggressive bubble. Mm -hmm. More pear flavors, I think. Still mm -hmm. plenty fruity. Yeah. Still, you see a little bit, a little bit of sugar on the finish, mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's, 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 it's light with it. It's not like mm -hmm. over the top. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. but. Uh, it is kind of in the back of the mouth, right? Just, yeah. just a little bit of a yeasty mm -hmm. characteristic. I do like the bubbles here. It's pretty soft, actually, mm -hmm. for being a sub ten. Man, for sub ten, super clean too. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, that's five or four ninety nine. Please bottle. drink if you're looking for something easy or something that you can you can leave around the house and drink half of and, and not mind mm -hmm. if half of it goes bad on you. Right. Like, wow. Both are good options. Mm -hmm. Yep. So so ultimately, again, I mean, besides the yeasty components and like the little bit of fruit that I'm finding on this. There isn't much else. Like there isn't much substance to the mid palate. It's pretty, pretty light. And then going into the finish, there is it just diminishes quickly. Still a very nice wine. Uh, similar score, probably like eighty four points for me, just based on the finish. I don't know. And uh, I'm I'm gonna go, I'm I'm gonna go eighty seven again. Um, I I like it. Um, in a different way. There's there's a little more complexity here, but the flavors quite aren't, aren't quite as rich. Um, so you know, so I like the structure. I like the bigger bubbles. Yeah. Um, but I like sweetness aside. I like some of the fruit expressed here a little more. Mm -hmm. So yeah. so they both come out at eighty seven and both at sub ten totally a buy. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be purchasing this. This actually. That's cool I stuff. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do too. I'm doing the rinse to, to get my sort of yeasty, mm -hmm. my yeasty fix that I have to have Absolutely. sometime instead of turning to a champagne. Like that's a very good option. Yes. So. And for five bucks a bottle, I mean, really, no. you, you can't. <laughs> no, go wrong. you can't go you wrong. You cannot right? go wrong. You can have a glass and be so like... You're saving money by buying that wine. Totally. Yeah. Saving money. <laughs> saving good, money. Good for the economy. Nice. Good for your wallet. <laughs> also good for your wallet, Michelle here um, has ended the uh, unemployment stint by becoming a uh, tax preparer. Is that the, that the official title? Licensed tax preparer. Yeah, and so she's, yes. been, she's been doing tax for people this season. And there's a little bit of time for that left. So her email will be down below in one of the comments. And if you've been holding out need a hand with some of your taxes, you should totally give her an email. I, I appreciate that. Love that. Thanks, Dan. Mm -hmm. I actually need to talk to you about my taxes. We owe a lot this year. A lot. Let's let's find you some money, honey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, back anyway. to the show. Back so, to the show. We had a brief break for a financial yes. consultation there. <laughs> Um. <laughs> this is my this is my favorite hands down favorite yeah. Barden champagne or sparkling one. I'm sorry, whoa, I still whoa, call it champagne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Crossing a line. No. Crossing a line. This is called M Chevalier. It's a Spanish cava. And I've I've had this before. And I think you yeah. brought it, and mm -hmm. I really liked it. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to try this again now that I've been drinking more wine because I haven't revisited this wine in a year, okay. year and a half probably. So. Okay. And when, yeah, yeah, when I met Michelle, I, this was one of the things that I was introduced to right away, and I was just like, wow, for under 10 bucks, again, it's not, it's again, not phenomenal, well, but no, you're, no, saving, you're saving yeah, money by buying price. this wine. Killer and price, then it's, yeah. yeah, it's just silly. And I have to say, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to drink at the pool or nice. at the river in the summer. Right. It makes a delicious mimosa, I have to say that. Ooh. Oh, yes. We're going to do a mimosa show soon, yeah. Oh, I've got the, I've got the one to combat this, then. Okay. Excellent. I've got it. You'll have to invite me yeah. again. Absolutely. People have to do it in the morning. Sometimes. What is it? Dom Domaine Chandon Blanc de Noir. I think I've had that, actually. I yeah. have had that. And, and a mimosa, though? Not in a mimosa. Okay. Kay. Try the mimosa. It's on. It's oh. crazy. It's on. It's crazy. It doesn't have any acidity, and that's why it works mm -hmm. with the orange juice. Right. It's, it's just... Right. Yeah, it's so good. So good. Anyway, let's drink some wine. <laughs> 